All right, for this video, I want to go through a sample Schedule A for Form 1040, which is used to report itemized tax deductions for the 2023 tax year. Now, specifically, we want to look at real property taxes that are reported on line 5B. I want to cover what is actually deductible and what is not. So we've got the Schedule A here, which we'll go through. We've also got the IRS Publication 530. This includes a lot of useful information for homeowners on their taxes. And then lastly, we've got just a sample property tax bill for our taxpayer here in Sarasota County, Florida. So we'll have a look at this and see uh, what is going to be deductible and what won't. And then just one slide here covering some background on the real estate property tax issues and what is ultimately deductible. So when we look at real estate property tax bills, there's really two components. So the first one are the ad valorem taxes. So these are taxes that are levied on the real property and they're calculated using your property's value. Now the non ad valorem assessments are just that. It's really an assessment and not a tax. So these are fees that cover the costs associated with services that benefit the property. These fees are generally included with your property tax bill and so it's all collectively referred to as property taxes. Uh, but it's not actually a tax assessed on the property's value. And so things that are commonly seen there are common services such as waste collection and disposal, sewer, uh, lighting, fire protection, ambulance services, and so on. And so the reason why these have to be separated is because the ad valorem tax is deductible, but the non-ad valorem assessments are not when we talk about itemized tax deductions. So if we look at uh, the tax code here in section 164 it does say uh, that taxpayers right, are generally entitled to a deduction for real property taxes real property taxes means taxes imposed on interests in real property and levied for the general public welfare uh, but it does not include taxes and assess against local benefits and so that's the issue here is is the tax assessed on local benefits is it a, is it an assessment for services these items are not going to be deductible as an itemized deduction. And so you can find more information uh, on this in the publication 530. So they have a state and local real estate tax section on what you can't deduct. So if we quickly look at that, we'll see here in this part, items that can't be deducted as real estate taxes. So the first one are uh, charges for services, right? So an itemized charge for services, to a specific property or people isn't a tax, even if the charge is paid to the taxing authority, right? So there's the charges for services. We've also got the assessments for local benefits here, right? And they do have the caution here, right? You have to look at your real estate bill to decide if any non-deductible itemized charges are included, such as those listed above. Uh, if your taxing authority doesn't furnish you a copy of your bill, you need to ask for it, right? So the reason why you've got to look at it because the amount that you paid uh, to the county, that it likely isn't going to be the amount that's actually deductible, right? You have to apportion it between the ad valorem and the non-ad valorem components. So if we have a closer look at uh, the property tax bill here. So in this example, we have John Taxpayer. He's a single filing taxpayer living in Sarasota. His property tax bill for the year was 15 to 1055 and he paid it in November 2023 and by paying it early in most counties you receive a discount so he paid it early and he received a 4% discount so the actual cash that he paid was 14602 and 13 cents. So if we have a look at his property tax bill here so I've added this box up here for the uh, apportionment calculation so we'll go through this uh, in a little bit but the property tax bill here pretty straightforward uh, common formats that you see throughout most states so we've got the ad valorem taxes up here and the non ad valorem component there so of the total bill 15 to 1055 14,179 is the ad valorem tax and then we can see the non ad valorem component is 1,031.47 so this piece for itemized tax deduction purposes is not deductible. So how do we account for this? Well, if you paid the full amount, so let's say you paid 15 to 1055, 
uh, the math would be quite easy, right? You would just leave this off, the 13147, and you would report the 14,179 cents as the deduction. However, if you pay it early and you receive a discount, you have to take the relative uh, uh, apportionment uh, for what is the ad valorem versus the non-ad valorem. So it's really just a simple math, right? We, we look at, okay, what's the ad valorem component? 14,179 and eight cents divided by the total assess. So that means of our total bill, 93% is the ad valorem component. We take 93% times the amount that we actually paid, 14,602.13. So the deductible portion, which is the ad valorem tax, is $13,612. So the 13,612 is the amount that John can actually report on line 5b as a state and local real estate tax deduction. Now in this example, uh, like many taxpayers, it ultimately kind of is a moot issue because the cap on the state and local uh, taxes, that's income taxes, sales, real estate, is limited to $10,000 for this year. Uh, so whether he reported the full amount or that this correct amount, I guess it doesn't matter to him ultimately. Uh, but you know, if you're in a scenario where the total taxes that you owe are certainly less than 10,000, this amount will matter, right? And so that's why it's important to make sure you're only including the component uh, that is actually going to be deductible as an ad valorem tax. Now it's a similar issue with things like the state and local personal property taxes, right? So in Florida, uh, vehicles that we pay taxes on for a registration, those aren't assessed on the value of the vehicle, it's based on weight. And so for that reason, uh, the taxes that we pay in Florida on personal property like vehicles is not a deductible amount, but in your state it might be different, right? In some states they do tax uh, based on the value of the property, and so that will give you an opportunity to report amounts on line 5C for uh, state and local personal property taxes. All right. Okay, so that covers it for this video. I, I hope that was helpful. Uh, any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, I appreciate you watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.